If you just watched my video on dividing polynomials using long division, uh, you will notice that these questions are exactly the same. I wanted to show you how to do these questions using both long division and synthetic division. When we do synthetic division, we should obviously get the same result. And this one is a little bit less complicated, which is great. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set whatever I'm dividing by equal to zero because that's the value that I want to use um, to divide by. So I'm going to subtract that one. And obviously you can do this math in your head, but I'm gonna use a negative one. So when I set up uh, synthetic division, the great thing about it is that I don't have to put all of those variables in there. I'm gonna use a negative one on the outside. And again, so right here is whatever I get when I set this equal to zero. On the inside, I'm going to only use the coefficients from this first polynomial. So I'm gonna use one for one C squared, and I'm gonna use three for three C, and I'm gonna use negative two for my negative two. I'm gonna leave one line of space, and then my last term, I'm going to also put a box. When I do synthetic division, anything above the line, I'm going to add, and anything below the line, I'm going to multiply by this negative one. So here's how it works. I take my one and I drop it straight down. I do that every time. Now it's below the line. So I'm gonna take negative one times one. So this is the multiply line. Negative one times one is negative one. I'm going to add those values. Three plus negative one is two. I'm going to multiply that two times negative one to get negative two. And then I'm gonna add negative two to negative two to get negative four. This doesn't look like I've actually done anything because I don't have an answer. If you'll remember from our solution before, the answer was c plus two with a remainder of negative four over c plus one. So when I write my answer here, these are the coefficients of my solution. Anything in this box is a remainder. And I'm going to start this value with one below the starting degree. So this was a degree of two. So this is one c, that's a positive two, so it's plus two. This is a negative four, so it's minus four over whatever I divided by, c plus one. So if you go back and check your other example, this was the same solution. Again, you don't need that one in front, so if you had c plus two minus four over c plus one, it's the same result. Let's try another example using synthetic division. Again, I would start by taking the y minus two and setting it equal to zero so that I know what to use in that initial box, which is going to be positive two. Then next to that, I'm going to write my coefficients of positive one, negative five, and positive six. I'm gonna leave one line of space. Remember, anything that happens above the line will be added and anything below will be multiplied. And the last thing to set up is this box at the end to remind me that that's a remainder. When I start this question, I bring the one straight down. I then take two times one to get two and then add those values together to get negative three. I take two times negative three to get negative six and add those values together to get zero, meaning that I don't have a remainder. My solution will start with one as a coefficient in front of one degree less than my original. So this is y to the second, which means it is one y to the first, and then minus three with no remainder. So it's just y minus three, which is the same value you got before. This is that super, super fun example, and you'll see that although it's still not going to be fun, it might not be as horrible as it was before. So I will start by setting 3x minus 4 equal to 0. And yes, boys and girls, that means we get to deal with a fraction. So I get 3x equals 4, and when I divide by that, I get x equals 4 thirds. So unfortunately, when you do any kind of synthetic division and you have a, a value in front of your x here, you will end up with a fraction. So it's up to you whether or not it's worth it. I'm going to put the 4 thirds here. I'm going to follow those same rules by putting this in standard form. So I'm going to use a 9 here. I'm going to use a 15 here. 
I'm going to use a zero as a placeholder for my zero x squared, and then negative three and negative five. Leave one space, put a box here, and I'm ready to go. If you need to add these little notes over here to rem remind you that it's add and multiply, feel free to do that. Then when I start working, I'm gonna bring that nine straight down. I'm going to then multiply nine times four divided by three, which gives me 12. And then I'm gonna add those together to get 27. I'm gonna multiply, take 27 times four, and then divide it by three, which is 36. I'm gonna add those together to get 36. Remember when you multiply by fractions, you're just multiplying by the top and dividing by the bottom. Uh, 36, again, when I'm doing this, I'm dividing by the three first. So 36 divided by three is 12, and then times four is 48. That's how I'm able to figure them out fairly quickly. Negative three plus 48 is 45. 45 divided by three is 15 times four is 60. And then negative five plus 60 is 55. So these are all of the coefficients. I will start with the nine and I will start one degree less than four. So nine x cubed plus 27 x squared plus 36 x plus 45 with a remainder of 55 over three x minus four. So if you go back to your long division example, this should have been the same solution. And this last one, again, try it on your own, then press play to see how you did. For this one, again, I will have to deal with fractions, so it's kind of a judgment call if you prefer to do synthetic or long division on most of these questions. Um, if I set that equal to zero, I'm going to be dealing with negative five thirds as the value inside the box means I'm gonna to have to multiply by that fraction. Here I'm gonna put a six, a one, and a negative 15. And my box for the remainder. Six comes straight down. Then I take six times negative five thirds, so I would divide it by three to get two, and then take it times negative five to get negative 10. Add them together to get negative nine. Below the line I multiply, so negative nine divided by three is negative three times negative five is positive 15. Add those together, I get zero, which means no remainder. My solution would be one degree less than this, so it's just six y to the first minus nine, and that should have been the same answer you got with long division.